Well, uh, right now, it's being called the greatest unmet medical need before all humankind, a vaccine for COVID-19. The whole world hasn't uh, been waiting for a vaccine this anxiously since polio, they say. There are some trials entering the final stage of development. Health reporter Haley Hernandez joins us now. Uh, Haley, does that mean they'll be ready for the public anytime soon? Soon. Well, yeah, that really depends on your definition of soon, right? These developments of these vaccines is going at warp speed in the science world. But Dr. Peter Hotez at Baylor says don't get your hopes up until 2021. Here's where they stand. Worldwide, there's about 100 vaccines in development. U.S. drug companies Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson are front runners that have conducted human tests to determine the safety of their vaccines. But here at the University of Houston, Dr. Sean Zhang is not as far along with his research, but that doesn't exactly mean he's out of the race. Those vaccines are not necessarily the best candidates. Dr. Zhang previously practiced in Wuhan, China, ground zero for the virus. He says when he saw the outbreak start there, he knew it was time to get to work at stopping the virus here. We are developing uh, like a hybrid system. So, and so that covers uh, more than one platforms. So hopefully we can have a more so sort of like a unique ad uh, advantage. So far, he says the results look good in mice and believes his vaccine will be approved at a later stage. Another vaccine frontrunner by Moderna says they might be able to prove effectiveness of their vaccine by Thanksgiving. That would be a huge relief for the increasingly exhausted public. But local scientist Dr. Peter Hotez is critical of their approach and says vaccines like his with Baylor and UTMB would be faster to produce. As a lot of the vaccines that you're hearing about uh, use, use technologies that uh, are not widely used yet for vaccines. So the fact that we're using a technology that's the same for the hepatitis B vaccine used globally uh, means that they can have be both inexpensive and widely accessible. Now, there's actually two researchers at U of H developing potential vaccines and another working on a drug to block the virus. The one at Baylor, Dr. Peter Hotez says, is ready to go, but it lacks funding to progress to human trials. The federal government said there will need to eventually be more than one vaccine available in order for companies to keep up with demand. So, you know, guys, I'll keep you informed as information comes out here Monday through Friday, Lisa. That's right. Uh, we appreciate it. Haley, before you go, is there any other treatment other than a vaccine that could help us sooner. Yeah, something you should be looking at, Regeneron and Eli Lilly are favorites to develop antibody treatments, which could give us a dose of immunity from the virus. And they say that those could be ready by the end of this year. Um, it sounds like any development's a good one. We'll take it. Yeah. So thanks, Coming Haley. Coming into hope here. All right. Monday through Friday. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>